Today, we will be talking with Atlantic City's mayor, Marty Small. He sets the tone and vision for America's playground and its nine casinos. Mayor Small, a native of Atlantic City, works hard to improve the lives of the city's residents and businesses he governs. Hi, I'm Selena, and today we're here in Atlantic City at the mayor's office, and I'm really excited to meet him today. What motivated you to be a mayor of Atlantic City? Um, I've always been a leader amongst my peer group. Um, I've always been one to absorb knowledge. When I was a kid at the Boys and Girls Club, everyone said that one day I would come back and run the Boys and Girls Club, and I did that. And I was involved in politics since I was a kid, and everyone said that one day I'd be the mayor of the great city of Atlantic City, and it happened. So I got a passion for people, and I just love my city. What is your role? as being a mayor of Atlantic City? Like, what do you my, do? My, my, my role is, my primary responsibility uh, is the budget, making sure that we continuously give the residents of Atlantic City tax decreases. I'm the one that sets the tone and the vision for the whole city with the plan. So I'm the guy that has a plan. I pass the plan down to my directors. The directors pass the plan down to the employees. So that's why it's important that you hire great people to carry out your vision. What would you say your daily routine is like? The exciting thing, the daily routine is never the same. Um, you can look at your schedule and have two things on the schedule, but still deal with a million problems. And it's best that, um, you know, again, you have a team around you. Um, a typical day could be leaving eight o'clock in the morning to go to a meeting in Trenton uh, at 10 o'clock. Then, uh, you know, you could be in Trenton from 10 o'clock to two o'clock. Then you gotta uh, come home and go to a meeting at a civic association and more like, there's no set hours, there's no set specific thing that happens each and every day. And, you know, it keeps everything fresh. And I just love uh, being mayor of the great city of Atlantic City. What were your thoughts when you became mayor? My thoughts when I became mayor was that it, it happened because obviously um, you know, losing elections for mayor, sometimes you think it would never happen. But um, I was always involved because I was a city council, a city councilman and a city council president. So when I send it uh, to the mayor's office, I know a lot of people were watching and say, he wanted to be mayor forever, what is he going to do? And I told myself uh, the night that I got the news that I was mayor, I told my wife, she said, well, you know, people want to be like, oh, well, he wanted this all this time. He ain't doing, he ain't doing anything. I said, I'm never going to give him a chance. They always want to know what Mayor Small is doing. And each and every day I challenge myself to take an approach to make the day before, um, you know, I mean, the current day better than the day before. Yeah. So we, you know, constantly are thinking about ways to improve the city um, way, ways to improve services. Atlantic City has a lot of problems and all of the problems that people focused in on, the small administration has t taken attention to detail to solve all those problems. Who would you say your inspiration is? I mean, there's not really one person that's uh, my inspiration. I had a political mentor who was the former three-term mayor of Atlantic City, state assemblyman and state senator. Uh, Jim Welling got me started uh, in politics. politics. Um, I am always wanting uh, my children to be better than I was. And my wife and I has laid a tremendous uh, foundation down uh, for them to be just that. So I know that um, people are looking up to me, my peers, and um, it's my constant motivation to every day to continue to make it a great day here in the city of Atlantic City. What would you say your childhood was like? I had a great childhood. I grew up in a house with uh, eight women um, on Virginia Avenue, um, even though I tell the world that um, I'm from VAC, which was one of the worst projects in the city coming up. 
I hung in there every day uh, with my friends to stay out of trouble. I was involved in church activities and sports at the Boys and Girls Club uh, in Powell. And, um, you know, like I said, I, I grew up in a house with eight women in the worst neighborhood in Atlantic City. And, you know, look at me now. Um, things could have turned out uh, much differently. Um, I still live in the same neighborhood that I grew up in. I built my dream home uh, in that neighborhood when a lot of people always, you know, think that the grass is greener on the other side. I'm in the same exact neighborhood that I grew up in. And I take pride in that and I wear that with a badge of honor. What would you say your greatest achievement was outside of being mayor? Outside of being mayor is raising a family because I've been a father figure to many kids in this community uh, for many, many years from working the Safe Haven program to running the Boys and Girls Club to 11 years in Atlantic City public school system, running all the sports and after school activities to one year principal academy charter. And to finally have kids that I can call my own is definitely the greatest achievement in my life. If it was your last day being mayor, what would you say was your biggest achievement? That I stabilized taxes. I stabilized the government. I put programs and services in place that weren't here before. We're doing more with less spending and we gave people opportunity. And um, that's what it's all about, giving everyone an opportunity. And that's what we're gonna to continue to do here in the great city of Atlanta City. What's one thing people should know about you? That um, I'm really a stand-up comedian. <laughs> really? Yes. I'm, 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 a, I'm a funny guy, I'm a personable guy, um, especially the people who know me, I like to have fun. Um, you know, that's how we govern here. It's, it's fun coming to work and that's the style that we want to continue to enhance on the city. What would you say your hobbies are? Hobbies, I'm a, I'm a sports guy. Um, as you see up there, um, I'm a four for four guy, Eagles, Sixers, Phillies and Flyers. Um, you know, my, my life outside of this, you know, revolves around uh, family, sports, and entertainment. What would you say the word change means to you? Change is a word that people throw around, particularly in politics, during a campaign. We need to change this, we need to change that. Change to me means action. You can say change, but do you show change? And a small administration has shown change. We're ready to celebrate Black History Month. What would you say for our viewers? Um, Black History Month is important. African Americans has made tremendous contributions throughout the world. Though it's celebrated during the month of February, it should be celebrated every day. I myself um, has made uh, history. I was the youngest elected city councilman in the history of the city. I happen to be uh, African American. Um, the values, the inventions, um, just the overall contributions to society shouldn't be ignored and it should be celebrated every day. What made you want to do Shop With A Cop for the kids? Shop With A Cop program is sponsored by the Atlantic City Police Department, the Atlantic City Police Foundation, the Atlantic City POW, um, and Ocean Inc., um, who's a great community partner here in the great city of Atlantic City. Shop With A Cop is important because it allows our Atlantic City youth to go to Walmart and kind of get things on their wish list that they want. And they kind of engage with the cops, they bond with the cops and they spend time shopping with them. And some of them get things for themselves and more importantly, get things for their family. So it's a great program. What would be your message to the kids and adults that want to change their career paths? Well, to the children, um, your future is limitless. Um, you control your own destiny. It's not where you start, it's where you finish. To the adults, you're never too old to learning, to keep learning. You're never too old to keep learning. And you know, the sky's the limit. If you put your mind to it, you can do it here at the great city of Atlantic City. We support in our youth and our seniors who are our two most precious resources and the adult population as well by giving them uh, programming to sharpen their skills and career opportunities as well. So never give up on your dreams. So that's it. And I will be back for another episode. And thank you for watching.